Hey, it's your Enjoy Work expert, Aisha Cogborn from CoachAisha.com. Now, I can't tell you how excited I am about 2012. And if you're like me, and I bet you are, you set some big, audacious goals for the year. But one of the things that I found that can get us into trouble is that as we set these goals, we don't take the time to figure out if we have everything that we need before we start going after them. I mean, just think about it. How many of you have ever baked a cake or decided that you're gonna make some big scrumptious dinner and as you started cooking, you realized you didn't have everything you needed to complete the meal? Now, sure, you can make some substitutions, you know, from time to time, you know, might be baking a cake and you don't have any oil and, you know, the recipe says that you can substitute applesauce for oil. But when we make those substitutions, we don't always end up with exactly what we wanted. But if we had just taken a minute to take inventory of the kitchen, figure out what we needed, made that run to the grocery store, everything would have worked out just fine. So as you look at your goals for this year, I want to challenge you to take a moment and take inventory. What are the critical ingredients that you need to reach your goals this year? And I'm not telling you to wait until all the conditions are perfect before you chase those goals. But just take a step back and figure out what it's going to take. If you're looking to expand your business this year, you know, what resources are going to be necessary to do that? Do you need to bring a virtual assistant on to help you out with some of the administrative work? Do you need to maybe stop shoe shopping for a while and save a little money to reinvest? I mean, what is it going to take? And, you know, if you're looking to, to go after a promotion this year, are there certain classes that you can take or professional experiences that you can be working on to position you for what it is that you want? So take a moment, take inventory of the critical ingredients that you need and do what it, what's necessary to begin to bring uh, those ingredients together. But again, don't use this as an excuse not to move forward because there will be times when you can make some acceptable substitutions, but make sure that when you do that, that you take into consideration what that is going to do for your timeline perhaps. If you don't have all of the money to maybe hire some of the, the sort of services that you need to be able to build or expand and you've got to do things yourself, then it may take a little longer. So make sure that you factor that in and make sure that you, you think about what it's going to mean for the final outcome of the goal too. Is it still going to get you where you want to go? The bottom line is this, you don't want to set yourself up for failure. And it's easy to just beat up on ourselves and say, oh, I didn't achieve this goal because I didn't work hard enough or I wasn't disciplined enough or if I had only done this or that. But if we're honest with ourselves, we just weren't positioned to be able to reach that goal because we didn't have what we needed. Perhaps it's just knowledge that you need. Maybe you need to work with a coach or a personal trainer, someone that can hold you accountable to help you to get there. I mean, there's so many of my my one-on-one -on -one coaching clients that, you know, once they knew what to do and working with them and helping them to build that strategy, they were off to the races. But until they had that knowledge, achieving that goal was was, you know, like chasing the wind. So make sure that you identify those critical ingredients that you need, do your inventory, and then go ahead and create that masterpiece of a year that 2012 is going to be for you. So as always, don't be stingy. If you enjoyed this video, make sure that you share it with your friends. Post it up to Facebook and Twitter and be sure that you stay connected with me through the week. Let me know uh, what you've got going on. And also, if you are looking to start an entrepreneurial venture, I wanna invite you to join our group on Facebook, but I don't want a real job. Now, you don't have to be you know, a full-time entrepreneur, but if you've got a seed of a business idea that you're looking for some help and cultivating, then this is the group for you. So again, join us on Facebook, but I don't want a real job. And you know I love to hear from you. So stay connected to us and I will talk to you next time. But until then, have a wonderful week on purpose.